Welcome to Cyber Culture Interface. Today, one of the biggest challenges almost every cybersecurity beginner has is choosing which area of specialization to go for because there are so many areas in cybersecurity that you can start up with and making a choice can be very tough at times. Today on Cyber Culture Interface, we're going to be dealing with nine all cybersecurity specialization or nine common specialization and how to choose them. We are going to be looking at the natural abilities, you know, and personalities that you may see in yourself that will help you or guide you in making a choice. The first area of specialization we're going to be looking at is incident response and forensic. Before I go ahead with that, if you are just joining this channel, you are first coming, uh, this is the first time you are coming across our channel, please like this video, share it with a friend, subscribe to this channel. This will help us grow and come up with better content and with more things that can help people to kickstart their cybersecurity journey and you know and help others to come on board too. My name is Olali Kenilori and I've been around cybersecurity for about four years now and I've also helped a few of my friends to kickstart their journey in cybersecurity. Let's go back to it. Incident response. Incident response. For incident response, incident reporters are the guys that manage and mitigate cybersecurity you know, incidents. They limit damage and ensure that there's a swift recovery back. And for you to be that, if you have a detail, you are detail oriented, you are an analytical thinker, you are methodical, you know, when you're methodical, you are someone that knows how to follow procedure very well and you are detail oriented because it requires detail to be able to spot, you know, what has happened and also to be able to limit damage. Incident response is good fit for such uh, natural abilities next i'll be talking about is penetration testing and ethical penetration testers evaluate system vulnerabilities by simulating cyber attacks you know and they help organizations or companies you know to fix to identify weaknesses why ethical attackers you know basically they protect system by finding and fixing vulnerabilities like on, I, against uh, the bad guys who find and exploit vulnerabilities you know for the selfish gain ethical cars they find vulnerabilities and fix them and for you to function as this you have curiosity you be someone that is curious you know be someone that's creative you know create it takes creativity to evade you know uh defenses you must be a problem solver you must be someone that really want to see how problems or have a determination to overcome security measure next is security operation center analysts these are SOC analysts it's very common SOC analysts are guys that are on the you know they are always at a lot they are looking out for what is going on they are monitoring the network or monitoring the infrastructure or monitoring the asset to look out for incidences that is going on and if you uh you are someone that is a lot you know you are someone you has you you have a lapness you know you are someone that is a team player because it requires working you know collaborating with other guys on the team you have good stress tolerance because you are always on the edge you know incidences that are always happening you are looking at what is coming on what is popping up on the screen here SOC analyst is a good fit for such abilities uh the next is uh cyber threat intelligence you know cyber threat intelligence guys are the guys that collect and analyze uh, disseminate information about potential cyber threats you know they are they're making sure the organization is aware you know of threats that are coming up you know they provide valuable insights against these threats and you have the ability abilities natural abilities and you know personalities that support tribal threat intelligence work is been having investigative mindset you know it takes someone that has an investigative mindset you know uncovering and analyzing cyber threats you know it must be persistent you know must be someone that is ready to monitor threats continuously and adapting security measures and you have also if you, if you are good at information gathering you know you know how to set google docs you know OSINT tools several of them are out there cyber threat intelligence is something um, that you should consider you're also the next one is network security network security requires a bit of technical proficiency so network is only guys that are basically guys that are focused on safeguarding organization network infrastructure you know you are monitoring you know network you're monitoring hardware so it requires having technical proficiency so if you have a very strong background in it this is a good fit for you if you have 
attentions to details there's someone that could spot things changing if you notice the way a, a system or a device is working has changed you this is a good area for you and you must also be a quick decision maker if you're a quick decision maker but quick decision making is based on technical proficiency not just quick in making wrong decisions but quick in making you know the right decision so you must have good you know technical background to function very well in this area next is cloud security you know cloud security basically are experts at secure data you know on the cloud most organizations are going cloud now you are going the cloud way and when you're on cloud you have your data and your assets you know stored on the cloud you know so the this cloud security guys are the guys that are secure their focus or specialize on security securing data in the cloud and you must have adaptability for you to function well you know trends uh technology cloud technologies are coming up or popping up every day you know someone maybe someone that have an eye for what is going on in the cloud you know keeping up with evolving technologies you have good risk management ability assessing unique strategies or unique security challenges you know have good knowledge you know knowledgeable with different cloud platforms like aws maybe google cloud you have uh, azure and several other cloud technologies these are cloud security is a good area for you to go into security compliance and governance areas you know in cyber security you're someone that has a good you know, background you know in legal or regulatory issues you are familiar with regulations you're familiar with policies you like policy creation or you like dealing with legal issues legal terms you know this is a very good area for you or you also someone that is organized someone that knows how to put things in place well you know you are someone that have eyes for you know compliance you know if you're organized you want people to follow the things to follow you know give attention giving attention to way following the way things are supposed to be done you know compliance requires being organized and you also must be a persuasive person you know someone that is able to convince people to do things the right way you know these are uh, abilities that you look out for yourself for going into security compliance and governance then we have the security awareness and training you know security awareness and training basically are guys you know who educate the organization on best cyber security practices or cyber security best practices and you ensuring uh you are good at ensuring people are vigilant you know you'll be good for security awareness and training so in this area you have good communication skills you are able to communicate to people what they should do and what they should not be doing you are also empathetic you are someone that understands people and know their challenges and be able to provide practical solutions to what people are facing you will also be patient with someone that is able to teach people tell people what to do help them understand what to do you know in a user friendly manner these are good qualities that you find in yourself and you're a good fit for security awareness and training area of uh, cyber security security research and development this require you to be innovative you know so these are guys that are engaging in research you know and developing or creating you know uh innovative security solutions and technologies you know you are advancing the cyber security landscape so and for you to be this you have to be innovative so if you're an innovative person you know you you're an analytical thinker you you are someone with strong coding skills you know because it takes being innovative to develop new tools and techniques you know you're an analytical thinker you can spot the way things are going and predict trends you know you can judge trends you can you can predict that things will go in in this direction you know based on your research and you know your your, your ability to spot things you know analytical thinker also analyze people analyze uh, the industry these are very good you know abilities for security research and development and your strong coding skills you must be able to understand codes you must be able to come up with codes you know basically you are building tools for people so or giving people you know uh directions on how to make their coding better you know their coding skills or improve on existing existing codes so these are 
abilities that help you to point in the direction of security research and development and there are several other areas too like i mentioned earlier that i would just mention in passing you know areas like iot security internet of things you know you are good you love gadgets you know these are areas things that you can this are an area of you can specialize in malware analysis these are more technical area you know you're able to analyze uh, software that malicious software uh, cryptography is an area you can go into uh, secure software development digital forensics healthcare cyber security and critical infrastructure security these are areas that you can also uh, go into uh, so these are the nine areas that uh, we're talking about today and um, if you have any skills or ability in this area please consider you can watch this video over and over again to help you discover yourself to help you know how to focus your specialization if you remember some videos ago in, in my videos i already told us that you need to move fast when you are coming into the field of cyber security you need to know what you need to do and specialize on this area if this video has helped you in any way please like the video and share with someone that you know and also subscribe let's grow this channel so that we can help more people to get better we are going to be doing more technical things in our next you know in our subsequent video so please like share and subscribe like this video share it with your friends you know and subscribe let's grow this channel big thank you for joining cyber cultural interface today and see you in my next videos